Hello, everyone. Welcome to another wonderful episode of CUDA Education. I'm your host, Nicholas Main. So today, what I wanted to talk about was fixing the CUDA targets error in Visual Studio 2017. So you download and install Visual Studio 2017, and then you download and install CUDA Toolkit 10, and then you open up Visual Studio 2017, uh, open up a CUDA project, and you're presented with a sample application, as you see here. You try to build it, and then when you build it, you get a CUDA 10.0 targets was not found, right? And all of the includes that are referenced here have a red squiggly, squiggly line underneath it, and it you know it just it fails to compile, it fails to build, and you you get this this targets error. So all that has to happen is that you. Um, you go to the projects menu up here, then you go to projects property, the project property for, you know, the your project. And then you go to VCC directories. Then you go to the includes thing. You go down here and you, you do edit. And then what you do is you, um, you open up the, the, the CUDA, you know, the location where the CUDA toolkit is, is installed. So in my case, it's C program files, NVIDIA GPU, computing toolkit, right? So you just open that up and then you go into um, CUDA V10 and you go into include and all of the files that you need are here, including CUDA.h and everything else that you would want, right? So then all you do is you copy this directory and uh, you paste it in here. And then you do OK. And well, in my case, I'm going to do cancel because I, I already have it in. But you just do OK. Then you would hit apply. Then you do OK. And then when you build the application, it should all build okay. And then you just do start without debugging. And press any key and the application runs as you can see here. Press any key to close this window. And that's pretty much it. So all you have to do is just include a, a, a directory, the include directory for um, CUDA in Visual Studio 2017, right? So that's it for CUDA Toolkit 10. Um, there were previous issues with CUDA Toolkit 9 where like you had to choose a different compiler to run the code, but it seems like for CUDA Toolkit 10, they fixed that issue. And if you need to learn how to install CUDA Toolkit 9 and, and you know, there's specific issues for that, you could always go to my website and just search for CUDA Toolkit 9 or go to cudatoolkit.com slash how to program CUDA. Um, I have a bunch of tutorials on that stuff. I also have another video about CUDA Toolkit 10 that talks about some of um, some of the issues that I had. Like I had an issue with uh, Secure Boot and I had to turn it off and all these things. But um, you could go to CUDAeducation.com. That's this uh, website right here and um, get all that information. So it's CUDAeducation.com as you see right here. Also catch me on Twitter at CUDAeducation. You could also support our work. You know, it's very important to uh, support, help the people that help you. So definitely click this button and uh, make a contribution to CUDA Education. It will be greatly appreciated. Um, here at cudaeducation.com slash CUDA targets not found, I have, uh, uh, you know, a written uh, rundown of, of what we just discussed. Obviously, after this video, I will add it to this post and you could just... Go to CUDAeducation.com and see a bunch of information on CUDA related items. You could even go to the NVIDIA CUDA category and it will give you all posts that are related to CUDA. So as you guys know CUDA, there's a lot of things going on with CUDA. So there is a lot of, um, a lot of things you can learn. And uh, you know we're actively making new tutorials, making new posts. Um, trying to help people get things installed, get things run, um, you know, making 
all kinds of uh, different applications. Um, I also do stuff on Jetson Xavier, which is sort of an application development kit for for CUDA and for developing things on NVIDIA hardware. So uh, definitely uh, subscribe to the video. Uh, I mean, subscribe to CUDA Education, like the video, ring the bell. If you need to catch me, the best way is probably commenting on this video. And then also you can, um, you can uh, keep, you know, catch me on Twitter. My, my Twitter handle again is at CUDA Education. And um, also, if you need to, to, to email me, you can email me at kudaeducation at gmail.com. So very simple, kudaeducation at gmail.com. All right. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.